Hello everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So if you are a college student or if you are planning to be a part of that college life soon, then this video is definitely for you. See, there are something in college you can learn outside the classroom. It's not like that everything you will learn inside the classroom. And that something is really, really, really important throughout your life. That is really be very helpful throughout your life. So that's exactly I'm going to discuss in this video, those three skills that nobody is going to teach you inside that classroom. You are supposed to develop these skills during your college life, during your college days. Yourself, you have to develop these skills and th these three skills are very important for your life also. These lessons, you can say, or these skills. Everyone must develop these skills during your college life, during their college life. So without further delay, let's get started. The first is very important that is self-learning. This attitude, you are supposed to develop this attitude during your college life. See, maybe you are lucky enough, you got great teachers. They are like, you know, they, they, they provide you notes. They teach you very well. They tell you from which book you are supposed to study this concept, this topic and everything they teach you, everything they tell you, right? And you just follow their instructions. But once you will go into the real life, once you will enter into the industry, once you will get the job at that time, nobody is going to teach you something like this. Nobody is going to be there for you. Yeah, yeah. Let's sit and I'll teach you. From this book, you have to study. From this resource, you have to study. From here, you have to study this thing. No. So maybe at college time, you think that, yeah, faculty is teaching. You are like, you know, they are spoon feed, feed you. And you think that, yeah, I'm very lucky. Faculty ho to aisi. But you will realize this thing after going, after entering into the real life, after entering into the industry. That's not good for you. Right? So someone is there, some faculty is there, not providing you notes, maybe not teaching you very well. So take this as a plus point. Make self-learning as a habit at that time. It's a great time for you. Because during college days, I know you waste, everybody wastes at least five to six hours a day. At least. You don't know anything during those hours. So you are supposed to utilize that time. Because I guess you are aware about this thing, technology is changing rapidly. And if you want to be in the market, if you want to be a part of that industry for long, if you want, you know, you know get, if you want to get promoted, then obviously you are supposed to adapt those technologies. You are supposed to adapt those changes. You are supposed to learn new skills. You are supposed to expand your skill set. Or maybe if you want to switch to any good company, then obviously you are supposed to, you know, they, 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 they'll see that what you have learned during your previous job. And that learning would be self-learning, obviously. So I would suggest, please build this self-learning attitude during your college life. Don't just totally dependent on your college faculties, on your, you know, friends like Rahul is good in this subject and he is going to teach me one day before exam. That's it. Mera to set hai. Mujhe padne ki zarurat nahi hai. Okay, Rahul will teach you at that time, but will Rahul be with you throughout your life? No. And if you are that kind of student like who is totally dependent on other your, maybe your friends or your college faculty, like you, 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 you are not interested in learning yourself. You need spoon feeding. And if, if you are this kind of student, then definitely, definitely you will be in great trouble once you will enter into the real world, once you will enter into that industry. Maybe if you will get a job or maybe you want to start your own startup or business. In both the situation, whether you are getting a job or you want to be an entrepreneur, you need this attitude, self-learning attitude. Right. Second thing which is very important is to work on your communication. See, if there is something which is as important as education is, I think that thing is communication skills. Whether you are sitting in a placement or during your life also. After college also, in your real life also, communication is very, very, very important skill to have. See, I guess you all are agree. If you are good, you are having good communication skill, definitely you will have a edge in the interview over the other candidates who are not good communicator, right? And suppose one student is having higher GPA than you, higher marks than you, 
and you are very good communicator you are having strong communication skill and that student is not having the communication skill definitely i'll i think they'll prefer you because you are able to express your thoughts you are able to communicate with those guys right you are able to you know you know uh, transfer the information whatever you know you are able to communicate you are able to t- express that information to to those guys and that's exactly they want it's not like that there you will sit alone and work you are not supposed to communicate with any other you know <laughs> any other people in that uh, you know company and i guess apart from the job also apart from interview also in your real life also communication is very 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 important at every point of time you you are supposed to communicate with other people in society also or anywhere so if you are a good communicator that will be enough you know it's a it's a very good impression on others and how you can increase your communication skill there are many events during your school days that happen so you can participate in those events right try to explore things don't be an introvert kind of student during your college days group collaborations are there try to be a volunteer in any event or you can you can head any new project don't just restrict yourself to the courses or the subject the faculty is going to teach no there are many 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 important other things in the college you should or you i, I guess you must explore the other activities the daily activities you must participate in those activities like any competition debate competition or any other competition those kind of thing maybe at starting you will hesitate like you are not good in expressing yourself you are not good in english and it's not like that you must know english you should be fluent in english to be a good communicator communication skills are different and english speaking is different you can also communicate in hindi but some students you know are not able to put their thoughts so their you know uh, whatever they know their information in hindi even in hindi right whether you are speaking hindi or english or any language confidently you should speak that language so please work on your communication skill and third thing is it is also very important that is you are supposed to learn time management because see i think in college during college days most of the students live in hostel or maybe in pg and your parents are not th- not there to instruct you every time like wake you up at right time and everything so you are supposed to manage yourself you are supposed to be independent at that time you are supposed to manage your time at that time right like wake up at right time have breakfast and go to your classroom and if you have some time then like in this time i have to do this thing and suppose in evening i am supposed to go to meet someone or maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend there but before that thing you are supposed to you are supposed to complete these two or three tasks today only right i have this much of time and i am supposed to complete these tasks within this time only don't think i'll do this tomorrow then tomorrow and then tomorrow many students do this kind of thing during their college days because see if if uh, when when uh, whenever you will get a job and once you go to that industry then maybe they'll give you some deadline like you are supposed to complete this project and this task within this deadline and if you have a habit of managing your time properly then it would not be tough for you and see why i'm saying develop these habits during your college days because see wahi ye crucial time hai us time pe ya to apni aadatein aap bigad sakte ho ya sudhar sakte ho right aur ek bar agar aapne aadatein ko bigad liya at that time once you will go into the real life after finishing your college maybe you will get a job or in you will start your own business or startup then developing these habits would really be tough for you right i think you are agree with me but now you have time in the college during your college life you have time you can develop these habits slowly you have 2 to 3 years or 4 years you have enough time to develop these habits because i know many students think if you are late in lecture like 10 minute or 15 minute kya farak padta hai 10 minute to late hai 15 minute to late hai but those you know little little things really matters after in, in your real life because see, once you got a job and you will go there then maybe time is like 8 o'clock in the morning you are supposed to punch there otherwise you will be marked as absent so there would be there are no option to be one or two minute late or five minute late or 15 minute late right at that time you will realize this thing and note only these three skills there are many skills you can develop during your college days apart from outside the classroom apart from the courses or the subjects you are studying right those technical uh, skills apart from that thing the life lessons i would say or the skills life skills that would be you know really helpful during your life 
not only these skills there are many skills but i guess these skills are basics and these skills are for everyone whether you are doing any degree btech or maybe bca or ba or diploma or anything cs branch mechanical civil any branch for every student i guess these skills are very important the basics or general skills these are if you think that yeah we should develop this skill also this is also really very important then you can write down that skill in the comment box so that others can also read that thing so i guess that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care